Hi there, this is Nick with Living Rich, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about structuring your downtime so you can have the most optimal uptime. And so, I mean, basically it's it's just that, you just got to structure it, um, or don't even think about structuring it, just like get have fun with stuff, like start accustoming your taste to have fun with stuff that benefits you as a person and that'll benefit you in making you better at what you're trying to do in life. So, for example, I'm gonna use myself as an example. What I do is um, I skateboard. Uh, that does a lot, gets me, it keeps me in shape. Uh, it keeps me on point and integrated physically and mentally. Um, and, it, and it keeps me very self-aware because I can't go above my, above my you know, comfort skill level or I'll get I'll get hurt, and and that it also it also shows you shows you how like sports like that, like skateboarding or surfing, kind of show you how your your skill level can kind of like waver and vary, and I think that depends on a lot of factors, including diet, um, how much sleep you've had, um, how physically loose you are, and maybe the weather. Who knows? Um, so yeah, so I do that. I also play guitar. I do a lot of reading, and I, I do a lot of nonfiction reading. And what I find, I at first, at first I read a lot of a lot of like fantasy books, like a lot of um, I don't know, um, dragon books or The Subtle Life by Philip Pullman. And while they're really good books, they're not. Um, they're, oh, right now it almost feels like it's a waste of time for me to read those books. Like, it's awesome literature. I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. But right now in my life, I feel like I have to, like, kind of, like, light the fire and, and read stuff that's putting me towards the direction that I'm trying to go in or that I'm going in. So, um, so there we go. We have sports, reading, guitar. I play guitar. Uh, that, I... I really, really like and I enjoy just singing, singing in, in my room, singing, playing guitar and singing. Um, I piss off my roommates with it a little bit, uh, but it's totally worth it. Absolutely, totally worth it to learn an instrument um, or just sing. Singing is fantastic. I find like if I'm going to go have like before really good nights out, I find that I'm always singing. Like singing is usually like a... It helps me get into the state of using my voice, get to get in the state of, of like expressing myself, having fun with stuff, um, and, and sounding like a dork. Because like everyone, like even the best singers are, give me a second here, bugs all over me in this lagoon here. Um, every, everyone doesn't really sound that good or no one wants to hear anyone really sing, really. I mean, even if you're really good and you go in someone's house and you just start singing, they're like, whoa, bro, chill out, you know? So you kind of just have to shut your door, uh, sing at the top of your lungs, and kind of have a, f you know, fuck off mentality. You got to be like, man, you know, this is, I'm going to sing. I want to fucking sing. I'm going to sing. Um, and maybe we'll start singing with you <laughs> if, you're, if you're really convincing. Uh, so, yeah. And then besides that, eating. Um, eating is like is like a hobby for me now. Uh, maybe even too much so, but like I took healthy eating, um, and I took like making food, and I made that into a hobby. So I could have that, it, and it's 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 more than the food. It's it's almost from like a like a, a fueling fueling the energy of my life standpoint hobby like experimenting like what what will this food make me feel like when I eat it what will you know if I eat too many vegetables oh I feel like this okay so let's like like you know let's adjust it maybe like put a little more meat in there or a little more fat and and like you, you noticed you that you have to be in a certain state of mind um, or, or a very self-aware state of mind and like not blame anything else in the world for how what how you're doing whether it's good or bad but you kind of have to like 
being like, uh, okay, I'm creating this moment. And then like, there, there are like undertones you can kind of, you can kind of feel that are consistent with certain foods that you eat. And also with sleep and also with, you know, hanging out with friends and joking and laughing. And so, so, and ultimately what all this allows you to do is it allows you to be ready and on point when the time comes for you to be on the top of your game. And that, that is how, that is how to structure your downtime to benefit your on time the highest possible. Because what I find is you don't, you don't lose the, the match. You don't lose, you don't have a terrible skate sesh. Um, you don't, you know, have a terrible day at work just because you showed up to work and something happened that has this much to do with it, whereas how you are inside in your internal state has this much to do with it. So keep that in mind and have a fucking amazing day. <laughs> good talking to y'all. Have a good day. Thank you.